you want to change your life, the next three minutes are for you. Experts suggest letting an audience know right at the start of a video who it's for. So if you are here by accident, I'm hoping that that first sentence has persuaded you to stay. Because although I can't change your life in three minutes, I know a man who can. So in the next three minutes, I'll try to answer why millions of Christians around the world seem obsessed with this symbol to the extent that some of them have it tattooed on themselves. I'll try and explain why the Romans killing a peasant rabbi from Nazareth 2000 years ago affects our lives today and why the death of that man, who we know as Jesus, is the most important thing that ever happened which should explain why Christians call this seemingly grisly day Good Friday. The events of Jesus' death are described in Christian scripture, the Bible. And today we're looking at a book written by a man named Matthew, who was an eyewitness witness to the events of Jesus' life and death. If you don't have a Bible, you could Google it. If you were to Google death of Jesus, you would find literally millions of pages of writing by thousands of men and women with hundreds of letters after their name discussing what Jesus' death meant. Reading all those passages would take a lot longer than three minutes. So what I want to try and do is be really simple. I want to talk about a verse of scripture in particular, Matthew 28 verse 51. This verse describes a strange thing that happened when Jesus finally died on the cross after hours of hanging in agony. It says the curtain in the temple was torn in two. Let me explain a little bit. Back in Jesus' time, it was believed that the only people who could talk to God were the priests in a special place inside the temple. This verse tells us that Jesus' death removed that barrier forever. This tearing of the curtain, this removal of the barrier that we, you and me, had allowed to come between us and God. This removal is God saying how much he loves us. Not like the cup that I bought for my wife that tells her I love her to the moon and back. What we're talking about is the God of the universe, the creator of heaven and earth, coming down to join us in the nitty gritty of human life, to find things hard like we find things hard, to ultimately die of the hands who many who knew he was innocent of any crime. The story of course isn't finished, but that's not for today. For today, God has shown just how far his love goes, right to the cross. He literally loves us to death. What we have to do in response is be prepared to say thank you and accept that God had to do what he did to fix our relationship. He had to do this because we too often miss the mark. What we refer to as sin. Jesus' death fixes the things that we do wrong. That's why many Christians wear t-shirts that say the cross equals a heart. It's the ultimate act of love. Psychiatrists say that as humans, we ultimately crave intimacy with someone who delights in us. God delights in us. He loves us. He wants a relationship with us. And Jesus paid the price to remove the barriers to that relationship growing. He literally tore the curtain. And that's why realising what God did through Jesus' death on the cross might just change your life forever.